Hello, this is a Brave 9 guide about Mythic Mercenaries. This guide will cover a full explanation of what a Mythic Mercenary is and the Mythic Mercenary system. I'll first be explaining what a Mythic Mercenary is and how it differentiates itself from the rest of the cast. A Mythic Mercenary functions the same as every other Mercenary. You can place them down on your team and have them perform whatever the skills they have. How they differentiate themselves from the rest of the cast is their unique skill sets and unique way of obtaining them. I'll first be going over how to obtain them. Unlike how Legends, 5 stars, 4 stars, and 3 stars are obtained through the recruitment system, also known as the Gacha system, Mythic Mercenaries are obtained by quote unquote summoning them. In more gameplay terms, you go to the Summon Mythic Mercenary recruitment system and choose a Mythic Mercenary once you've met the summoning requirements, with these requirements being to have enough Terra, which is essentially a currency used only for Mythic content. The Terras you need to summon a Mythic Mercenary is to have 350 purple, orange, and green Terra, as well as 5000 blue Terra. Purple Terra is obtained through PvP modes such as Arena and Voyage. Orange Terra is obtained through Challenge modes such as the Rune Temple and Event Dungeon. Green Terra is obtained by recruiting mercenaries on the Custom Chance Up and Legend Recruit Gacha systems. And finally, Blue Terra is obtained through all PvE and PvP game modes. So, pretty much everywhere. Just for some general tips on getting all these Terras, for Orange and Green Terra, you don't have to think much about obtaining them. They'll naturally accumulate without you putting a lot of work in. For Purple Terra, it's somewhat slower to naturally accumulate due to them being handed out less often, so if you need a burst of Blue Terra, the easiest way to purchase them is off the Voyage Shop. For Blue Terra, the best you can do to obtain it is to naturally wait for it to accumulate. Unlike Purple Terra, there isn't any easy method to gain a burst of Blue Terra other than rare limited time sales, so you really just have to wait and receive them over time, either through the weekly arena awards or through PvE content. Out of all the Terras, this is the most time-gated one. Now, Mythic Mercenaries are unique not only because of their unique summoning method, but also because the skill sets of Mythic Mercenaries are very different from the rest of the cast. For example, when I preview the Mercenary Alec, he only has 4 skills in his entire skill set. In another example, again, I preview the Mercenary Anubis and his skill set, and they also only have 4 skills. And one last example, you can see this 4 star Mercenary, Isabel, has also 4 skills in her skill set. However, when I click preview on this Mythic Mercenary named Islock, you can see that he has not 4, but 13 skills! Therefore, Mythic Mercenaries are special due to the fact that they deviate from the usual 4 skills in one skill set. Now don't worry, Mythic Mercenaries don't actually use all 13 skills at once. Instead, just like the rest of the cast, they will only receive 4 maximum. Like these highlighted skills right here. But to decide which skills the Mythic Mercenary will receive, it is up to... Uh, your favorite... RNG. Let me explain. Upon summoning your Mythic Mercenary, the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th skill of their skill set is randomized. For example, when I summon a Freyla, there is a 1 in 4 chance that her 2nd skill will be either Provisional HP Boost, Blade Rain, Focus Magic Bash, or Buff Prohibition. The game will randomly decide which of these skills will be my Freyla's 2nd skill, and this process repeats for the 3rd and 4th skill slot. Do note that the 1st skill slot is fixed, and thus cannot be changed. This is because the Mythic Mercenary's first skill is their signature skill. It will always stay no matter what you roll. Unfortunately, this adds quite a lot of RNG to summoning Mythic Mercenaries, especially since it's a 1 out of 64 chance or approximately a 1.6% chance to obtain a Mythic Mercenary with a specific skill set that you want. However, there is a bit of light in the system. You already know that summoning a Mythic Mercenary gives you only one randomized skill set, so you might think that if you get a bad skill set, you have to summon another Mythic Copy to try again. And if you get another bad skill set, you have to summon another Mythic Copy again, and again, and again, until you finally get a good Mythic skill set. You might also think that all the bad Mythics you summon are completely useless and just take a Mercenary box storage. However, that is not the case, because we can put those bad Mythics to use to save on resources. Skill rerolling, as the name implies, is a tool that players can use to reroll their selected Mythic skill set. The main incentive of a skill reroll is that it gives three new skill sets instead of just the one given when first summoning a Mythic Mercenary. To perform a skill reroll, simply click on the skill reroll button in the Mythic Skills section to open up the reroll page. Now, to actually perform a skill reroll, you will have to make a payment using certain resources. The payment is presented in two options. Option 1 is to reroll using 50 Blue Terra and one of any Mythic Mercenary, or option 2 is to reroll using 3000 Diamonds. Additionally, due to the fact that getting a perfect skill set is completely up to chance, there is a pity system for skill rerolling. Upon opening the reroll page, you will be prompted to select which skills you want to have for your guaranteed skill set. Select the skills that you prefer, and upon hitting the save button, you will see now that the skills are listed right here. Now every time you attempt to reroll and don't get exactly what you listed down, the pity increases by 1, 
Once you reach a pity of 20, the guaranteed skill set that you chose will automatically replace whatever skill set that you currently have. I should also mention that you could change your guaranteed skill set whenever, and it will not reset the pity. Now going back to the two options to reroll with, you can either pick the Terra option, which is 50 blue Terra and 1 mythic mercenary, or the diamond option, which is 3000 diamonds. To decipher which option is better to skill reroll with, I'll first be- It's the Terra option, it's the Terra option, oh my god, only skill reroll using the Terra option. <sighs> I cannot stress enough how bad skill rerolling is using 3000 diamonds. That is literally 3 10 pulls on the legend banner, or 5! Five, 5 goddamn 10 pulls on the 5 star banner! The 5 star banner at pity is only 100! You are literally getting half the 5 star pity with those 3000 diamonds. <sighs> do not, and I repeat, do not skill reroll using diamonds. You will regret it, and I could speak from so much experience. I've personally wasted 30,000, and yes, you heard that right, 30,000 of my precious diamond skill reeling for the perfect Islock. And you know what? It wasn't even the skill set that I wanted. I'm still missing the debuff immunity, and that's the worst part about using diamonds. It's not even guaranteed! I would understand the 3,000 diamond price if the skill set was guaranteed or even increased the reroll pity by more than one, but it is neither of what I just said. It literally is a diamond vacuum, and you should never skill reroll using diamonds. But you might think, oh hey Nephi, what if I'm an endgame player and I have nothing to use my diamonds on? Surely using 3000 diamonds is worth it now, right? First of all, why are you even watching this video if you're an endgame player? And second of all, no. Even in that situation, do not skill reroll using diamonds. The developers will and are still adding content to the game. What if they had an insane new 5 star mercenary that is super meta and you don't have the diamonds to roll for it? Now what? You just have to twiddle your thumbs and wait for the diamonds to slowly flow in. <sighs> I think you get my point. Do not ever perform a skill reroll on Mythic Mercenaries using 3000 diamonds. Please, unless it's a life or death situation, promise me you'll be a patient little lad and only skill reroll using 50 blue tear on one Mythic Mercenary. Okay? Okay, let's move on. The last thing I want to mention about skill rerolling is a summoning, I guess, tech that you can do. If you want a specific Mythic to have a good skill set, you summon a copy of that same mythic because you essentially get a plus one additional skill set option. For example, if you want to get a perfect Islock but the one you just summoned was absolute garbage, once you get enough Terra, you would summon a new Islock copy. And if that new Islock copy is also garbage, you would just use that copy for fodder material for the skill reroll. This makes it so that you not only get the three newly rerolled skill sets, but also one additional skill set from the Islock copy you just summoned. I don't want to delve too deep into the math, but when you compare skill reruling using Terra versus skill reruling using Diamonds whilst factoring in this extra skill set, you can see that statistically, you would get your perfect skill set in 5 less attempts. Even more of a reason to never skill reroll using Diamonds. The last unique aspect of Mythic Mercenary is the fact that they deviate from the regular plus 0 to plus 15 skill up method. Instead, their skills start off at rank E and can be upgraded to go up to rank S. Breathe a big sigh of relief, because thankfully, this system is a lot more straightforward and less RNG based than rolling for the perfect skill set. Simply put, how the upgrading skill system works is that first, you choose a skill that you wish to upgrade. Next, you pay the 200 blue terra to attempt to upgrade the skill. And lastly, pray that it works. Every time you attempt an upgrade, the chance of success is displayed at the bottom of the skill you are trying to rank up. If it succeeds, then congratulations, your skill went up a rank. If it fails, then, well, sorry, too bad. You lose the 200 blue terra and you have to pay another 200 blue terra for another upgrade attempt. You might think this really sucks because the chance of success is low and still decreases by a lot as the rank gets higher and higher. But don't worry, there's a solution to this. Secret orbs are materials which aid in the skill upgrading process by increasing the chance of success by a lot. I personally only recommend upgrading skills when you have sacred orbs, else you are wasting your precious blue terra on a rather low chance of success. Because even if you fail the upgrade chance using a sacred orb, it doesn't increase the skill upgrade pity by 1, it increases it by much more depending on the type of sacred orb used. That's why I only recommend upgrading skills when you have sacred orbs, because even if you fail, it would increase your upgrade pity by much more than if you didn't use them, granting you that guaranteed rank up sooner whilst using minimal terra. Technically, you could still build skill upgrade pity starting from zero, without using sacred orbs, 
but I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you have a surplus of Blue Terra and have no other use for it. But before I end the Sacred Orb talk, I should mention that high tier Sacred Orbs, specifically A tier and B tier Sacred Orbs, are a bit hard to come by and rare. This is because they are usually only given out via limited time packages or through events that appear every now and then. In fact, only B tier Sacred Orbs can be obtained through specifically the Void Chop if you obtain the Abyss Stone boss material from the Fog Boss that has a low chance of dropping it. Yeah. And unfortunately, A tier Sacred Orbs have no natural obtainment method other than limited time sales and limited time events. So if you are desperate to get a skill up to rank A or even rank S, your only option is to either wait to obtain a high tier Sacred Orb for that increased chance of success, or bite the bullet and build skill upgrade pity starting from zero. Unfortunately, a majority of meta skills on Mythic Mercenaries do require at least rank A or rank S for their full power, but at least they're still functional at rank B, which is thankfully very easy to achieve, as you can get C tier and D tier Sacred Orbs in bulk by purchasing them at the arena shop. They are also sometimes sold in limited time packages, but only for gold, which is always a good deal. Oh, and before I forget, when you perform a skill reroll, all the skills will maintain their current rank, they will not start over at rank E again. And that's it. That's all the information you need for the entire Mythic Mercenary system. My next videos will cover each Mythic Mercenary and their best skill sets. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.